I know I keep saying it's done, but. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Hey, welcome to Infinite Outdoor Adventures. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, right now would be a perfect time. It doesn't take but a second to click the button. So today we are going to be talking about the modifications I've made to my 15.4 foot dive rescue boat and also the trailer I built to transport it on. I uh, won't bore you to death. It won't be one of those type of videos. I'll get right down to it. So first and foremost, I uh, purchased a 4x8 heavy duty Harbor Freight trailer, foldable. I needed access to my garage, so I wanted to make sure that um, if I needed to, I could fold the boat up and then also fold the trailer up. First and foremost, what I did is I went ahead and put a, a boat winch, which is going to help, you know, uh, hold the front end down as well as when I'm retrieving the boat. Now it is bolted down and strapped, so it's not going anywhere. It's tried and tested. Then from there, what I did is I built a frame and it extends all the way to the back and I'll show you. And what I did was uh, the frame sitting about two feet back. Um, and the reason being is so that the transom has something to sit on in the back and the tubes aren't hanging. Now I did apply these, uh, slats that go across which are carpeted and even without it being in the water it just pretty much slides on the on the carpet and definitely once in the water now i did lower the wheel well as well just simply uh took the screws out punch new holes because i wanted the wheel well to sit flush with the um, with the trailer interject really fast this since 2019 harbor freight did recall all of their tires and they are all now DOT certified so this trailer was bought um, I want to say February of this year so um, I'm sure I'm gonna see some comments in the below about the tires and Harbor Freight trailers feel free to google it tires are up to par now but back to the video um, I also made my homemade boat guides now um, Getting the boat back on, especially by myself, and getting it lined up properly on the trailer was becoming a little hard. So instead of spending like, you know, a hundred bucks, it's actually my wife's idea. What we did is we got one and a quarter PVC pipe. And then basically what I did was I drilled holes and put 516 bolts in there, washers on both sides, and then tie strapped it down, which it has already been tried and tested, and it works out absolutely perfect. It makes a significant difference with me um, retrieving the boat. Now, as I stated, what I did is, the frame comes all the way back so that the transom is sitting on the frame and before I was towing it with the, the frame all the way up and it was having a little too much bounce for my liking on the tubes. So basically that's what I did with the trailer. Now, as far as the boat itself, first and foremost, the biggest improvement that I made were these trim tabs. These are Nautica's trim tabs. I got the, the lowest pound actuator that was available because I'm only running a 15 horsepower motor. But what those do is um, I can basically, no matter how much I'm loaded down, the other day I was approximately 1,200 pounds total weight on the boat and I could um, get on plane with about a third of the throttle, which is completely awesome. I mean, I, I can't say enough about that within itself. And um, they definitely do their job. And you can make adjustments on, you know, how much resistance you want. Now I have it on the least resistance that's what gives me the most top end speed, but also keeps me completely balanced. And again, 1200 pounds, um, and was completely stable, no listing. So many things that are great about those Nauticus trim tabs. Definitely look them up. They're, they're worth putting on any boat, not just an inflatable. Now I also threw on a, um, 
Garmin um, 4CV fish finder. And um, I want to actually say this is one of the first fish finders I actually feel does its job. Um, it definitely, as this reporting fish coming by, I'm literally getting strikes on my pole. Now I put some Scotty mounts, um, one here in the back to troll with. And then if I'm by myself, this is for my additional pole or if somebody's with me, they have a pole they control as well, or, you know, just sit in the um, rod holder to relax. Now, I went ahead and removed the bench seats. Um, one thing that I was noticing was, um, you know, you're riding on the tubes when you're sitting on the bench seats as opposed to the weight being on the floor itself. And so I built myself some benches uh, for my wife and children as well as myself. This one right here, on one side it houses my gas tank. Over here are my two um, Mighty Max 35 amp hour batteries each anchor. And then on the other side, under that little compartment to the left over here, my life jackets, my emergency gear, my tools, things of that nature. So um, everything is there. Have my fenders. I wanna make sure wherever I'm going, I'm good and safe. And then I also definitely uh, threw a top on there. Now, I know a lot of people feel like the black material, it's gonna get hot. First and foremost, the boat itself doesn't get any more hot than any of my other boats. I actually feel like it, it stabilizes the pressure a little bit better. I don't know if, it, I, I doubt if it's because of the color. I think it's more because of the material being um, an upgraded military grade 2.4 millimeter uh, PVC as opposed to the 1.2. So also with the top, I did a lot of research and found that what the black tops do is they kind of create almost like a cave effect. Um, it blocks out almost virtually all of the sunlight and it does absolutely phenomenal sunlight over my head here. If you come in here, you can see it's significantly cooler. Very little sunlight gets through here. I also threw on um, I have a little leader accessories seat. Oh, gosh, I've been doing some all the modding to it. Originally, that was a double bench, and it does have underneath storage. I have life jackets under there as well. Um, but with that life jackets and tools, as you can kind of see peeking right there and on that corner, and uh, all of this stuff is removable. I have my fire extinguisher. See what else have I done to the boat? What else? What else? What else? I think that's pretty much about it. As I stated, all of my cubby holes uh, go through. So all my junk down there. But this is uh, oh, last but not least, well, that's you know my stern light. But also through the LED lights. These are all white right here on the back tubes and this is just a guarantee that <laughs> no one ever says they didn't see me and then on the front end I threw the LED red and green lights which are extremely bright and it looks really nice uh, at night you look at some of my other videos and you'll see one that I'll have later on after tonight because I'm going to do some more night fishing um, those lights are, are definitely doing their job. Yep. Just messed them up.